Hey guys, welcome back to another trade it video and today we're going to be discussing launch options, what they are and how to add them. Now if you don't know, launch options allow you to configure some settings in the game before it launches and it allows you to change how the game looks, how the game performs and it can boost your FPS. So it's definitely something that you're going to want to add to your game. So if you open up Steam, head to your library, right click on Counter-Strike 2 and head to properties your launch options will be right in front of you. Now, I have some launch options here from the Trade It blog, so feel free to head to the blog for more details, but I'll talk you through them very briefly now. So FPS max and refresh allow you to limit the FPS rate of the game and the refresh rate. You should set refresh to the refresh rate of your monitor and the FPS to a little bit higher than whatever the refresh rate is. High is all about setting the game as a high priority for your PC so that it has enough resources to run efficiently. Nojoy removes controller and joystick support and that can free up a little bit of RAM to be able to run the game better. And then soft particle default off, violence H blood zero and draw particles as well as dynamic zero just work to increase the clarity of the game and reduces the load so it can run a little bit better on your PC. Now, minus console, ironically, enables console straight off opening the game so that if you wanna change any settings or enter any console commands, you can do that without having to check if it's toggled on in the settings. Then you have Matt disable fancy blending one, and that disables blending so it can increase FPS by reducing the texture detail and some of the textures in game. Force no VSync disables VSync, and so that will reduce the latency of the game so you can react faster to what's happening and there won't be that little bit of delay for your monitor to wait for VSync. Uh, limit VS contrast is a limiting factor on the vertex shaders in the game and that can definitely boost your performance. Force preload one preloads a lot of the assets from the maps in the loading screen so it'll take a little bit longer to load but your game should run smoother once you actually get into the game full screen is obviously going to make your game full screen and that can definitely boost your performance but feel free to change that or remove it if you prefer something else and finally exec autoexec.cfg just runs your auto exec in the background now, if you have any questions, if you don't know what an auto exec is or anything like that, feel free to head to the Trade It website or do some research online, um, or maybe check out the other videos because we will be going over a lot more stuff. But for now, that was just a little bit about the launch options in CS2. So please, if you enjoyed the video, or if you wanna share your launch options, put them down in the comments below, but like and subscribe for now, and I'll catch you in the next one.